In this video, I will show you how to uh, write a system of linear equations and place that system into the Schoology assessment tool by using LaTeX. And uh, yes, that's spelled L-A-T-E-X, but uh, one acceptable pronunciation of that is LaTeX. So here in the Schoology assessment tool, I've already set up uh, an assessment. So I've saved the setup page with the instructions. And so now I'm going to go to the question setup. And uh, I've already set up a couple of piecewise functions here. Um, I have another video on that where you can see that I've uh, produced those two plus functions. Um, so now we're going to do a system of equations. Okay, so we go into the question setup and we enter the field where we're going to type our question. And usually, of course, we would write some uh, phrases in English to, uh, to tell the students what to do. But here I'm going to go to the equation editor. And so I click on the Schoology equation editor. And as it pops up, again, uh, we want to go down to this box. And as I've mentioned in the last video, we have two options. We have either LaTeX or MathML. And in this video, we'll be using LaTeX. We'll go to the view source, and in the view source window, we're going to type our system of equations. Okay, so here's how we type a system of equations. Forward slash, begin, curly brace, cases. Close curly brace. Go down a bit, and then uh, on the backward slash, and then end, open curly brace, cases. Close curly brace. Okay, so in between here is where we're going to type our equations. So I like to indent a little bit for our equations. And so the system of equations that I'm going to type in here uh, is the system 3x plus 4y equals 10. And then the other equation will be x minus y equals 1. So 3x plus 4y equals 10, and then a space or two, and then we'll do two backslashes like that. And again, recall that in LaTeX, uh, the two backslashes tells LaTeX to, uh, to go to the next line. So then we're going to go to the next line and indent, and our equation will be x minus y equals 1. Get rid of that extra space. So then we're going to click OK. And it looks OK so far, but we're going to enter in a few uh, fake answers. And then we'll scroll down to the correct answer setup and choose one of those answers. And we're doing this. And we're going to save that. We're doing this so that we can look at the preview to see what the students will see uh, when they attempt this quiz or assessment. And that was question one from the previous video, question two from the previous video. Those were piecewise functions. And then here is our system of equations. And you can see that it looks um, just like it should. Um, as it would in a math textbook, which is the advantage of using LaTeX in Schoology. Okay, so let's get out of the preview, and let's create one more um, question. Again, we go into the field, into the editing field. I'm going to click on the equation editor. Okay, again, we are checking to see that we're in LaTeX. Click on View Source. Okay, and this time I'm going to put in a 3 by 3 system of equations. So backslash, begin, curly brace cases, close curly brace, and then backslash, end, open curly brace cases, close curly braces, and then indent. Okay, and let's make, oops. And make 
evening. Just a few random, randomly selected equations. Okay, so there's a system of equations. We'll click OK. And it sort of looks OK, but a little funky. Of course, we wanted to preview the check to see what students can see. So we make up some fake answers here. Now, in developing a real assessment, of course, these answers would be real, not fake. And the correct answer I would select would be the real answer. Okay, so we have that question. Let's go to preview and start a new account. We're just going to jump over to question number four, and you can see uh, that quite clearly that's a really, really nice looking system of equations. So hopefully you find this helpful, uh, and I will be trying to produce some more videos on how to use LaTeX and various uh, types of questions and with various types of equations, uh, both in uh, mathematics and in, and in physics. Um, I will be probably doing some videos on how to express calculus. Uh, quantities in LaTeX uh, in Schoology. So that's the end of this video and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.